Now, this is the late night. I'm going to put up another video, a video I made today. It was a rough video. This guy, homeless guy Dave I met, he had me snotty. And I'm going to tell you, oh, man, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a Christian type of person. I'm not religious at all. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, not religious. But when I was talking to this guy, I asked him a question, and I'm thinking of so many things. But when he gave me the answer, I'm just telling you my experience. And again, I know y'all finna tear me up, too, because I've been talking wacky about people. But it is what it is. But it felt like an invisible arrow got shot, and it went straight through the middle of my chest. And when it came out my back, it felt like it felt like it took some of my soul out. I couldn't breathe. Like I said, I I talked to lots of homeless people. But Dave, Dave hit me with that spirit arrow. Ooh-wee. But before I play the video, I'm not going to talk too long. I want to address this real fast. And again, y'all know I love the comment section. That's why we, you know. <sighs> I don't really address comments with videos, but this lady was partially right, and, and right is right. Now, I'm going to say this. Is this a van life travel channel? No. She made the point where of that my channel should be in a different category is the other van life channel since I'm not traveling. Now, Number one, we're not going to get into the whole minutia of it. I'm going to make some clarifications, but you can't tell me who I identify with. Right, Jeffrey. If I identify with van life people, whatever the reason is, whatever's in my head, you can't tell me otherwise. That's horrible of you. So again, I'm going to just say that for say, saying it's sake, I identify with van people. So therefore I am. And all van life people, I'm not, I don't have a problem with, listen, I have a problem with the people that are saying they are poor. Anything else, I'm not tripping on. I'm going to leave people alone. I'm not finna, I'm just going to, Proceed with the content and do what I do. But again, my perspective, how I see it, that's not van life to me. That's, oh, those should be in other categories. Though, to me, those channels are travel channels. They're not, I don't know. But that's my perspective. I can't tell someone how they identify with what they identify with. But I'll just say this. I'm closer to van life living than some of these people driving around in mobile command centers that look like some type of FBI video game control stations and switches and buttons. That's not a van either. It used to be maybe, but it's not anymore. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to really get serious with the channel. I'm definitely going to stop smoking before I do my videos because I already talk too slow. I'm working on that. I'm definitely finna oh, got about to get the microphone. I'm getting better with the, the pocket. Not great. Not at all. I'm just, I'm not better. But I'm going to get a mic. I'm going to try to get the, the wireless mic thing going so we can get that together. And uh, like I say, this is important. I'm going to go full steam ahead. We're really only at day 10. This is really day 10. It might be day 9, but I think this is the 10th day. I didn't really, for real, for real, up until three days ago, I didn't even think we could even keep it pushing. But 
I see what it takes now. Time, effort, and money. Not a lot of money. I'm going to figure it out. Like I said, the little stuff that I'm able to do. I'm Put it like this. I'll be able to put up still three to five times the content of any other channel. Because I want to. Because I am. It's important to me. All right. To the video. All right. All right. We on our first interview. First interview. I ain't got no mic, but uh, we'll figure out what we can do with the sound. And uh, what's your name, brother? My name is David. David? W. Okay, uh, my name is Don. Uh, I'm actually homeless, been homeless for four years. I'm just kind of coming out of it. And I just want to do some interviews. You got a TV in there? Yeah. Oh, we done found the right one, y'all. We done found the right one. <laughs> okay, you say your name is what again? David. David, okay. Whitehead. Now, how long, Mr. Whitehead, how long have you been out here, sir? I've been out here over around 14. So a little over a year, a little over a year. Yes, sir. Nobody really bothers you though. No, but you know, that's why it'd be good if they have to move, I mean, uh, like a big bill that we don't just can live in and, and not bother me. Okay, now as far as the elements, because right now I'm cold. Okay. How do you do like at nighttime? What are you using to keep warm? I wear white jackets, sweaters, three or four pair of pants. Okay, not to catch you off, right? Now, I, you see, I'm a little husky. I'm kind of fat, right? Now, if I were to sleep in there and put all that on, I would start sweating. So, do you? if you start sweating and get cold, how does that work? Then I have to take it off and then you get cold. Uh, like chill, but I'm the cold. Then you put the jacket back on real quick. So, are you able to start a fire out here or any of that? Uh, no, um, it's illegal to, like, fire to can I show you a little bit of my cat? Yeah, I, I would be interested. I appreciate that. I, I put this on the top for, uh, to keep the rain. Right, right, right. Plus keep wind from going through my cat. Now, I got a question about the TV. Is that like a savings deposit or you... My friend, it belongs to my friend. He, 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 oh, he got an inverter in the hole? Yeah, he's going to take it home right there. Oh, okay, oh, okay. He, okay. He, he's kicking it all here. Yeah, he can leave it. I said, yeah, it's cool. But, um... Uh, yeah, I, I, um... And again, brother, I, I appreciate you. But, okay, now, how, how, how... Do you mind if I uh, crouch in there, or how close do you mind me getting, brother? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I got all this stuff in here, I drink, because the sides of my kit gets real wet, so all my clothes end up getting wet, so I got to keep it all in the middle. Okay, I got a question about cooking, right? Because, again, I stay in the Walmart parking lot right across from Del Taco. And I still spend a lot of money. So if you're not cooking, how do you afford to fast food it every day? Like, how does that process work? I uh, spend on the money and um, buy like sandwiches and stuff like that. Or go to um, sit outside the, the like Popeyes and you know, don't right. buy you like lunch or dinner. Stuff. So okay, how much would you say of your income do you spend just just eating? I, I, my is I do. Okay, but I mean, we all know that's what, eight, nine hundred? Uh, oh, you get the big one. Yeah. Oh, your parents worked and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, you can get a small Social Security check or you can get that Wapalini. <laughs> but, okay, so you, you, you might, you doing a little better than, than a lot of people out here. Okay, okay, so oh, there's levels to it. There's levels to it. Okay, so I'm trying to think of any more poignant questions I can ask you. This is my first interview, and again, I appreciate you. Anything that you would like to add? Okay, uh, I, a year and a half ago, I came from the hospital, and I went to World Space. World Space said, David, you got an ambulance dropped me off, and I you got my home from the hospital. He said, I need a place to stay. Right. Home second. So, so but they denied me because he said, two years. Three years ago, I was staying at the Salvation Army and I had beer in my locker. Oh. So, so they keep a file on you type of deal? I guess. Okay, now I have a question right now. My uncle, he just got there five days ago. And he got the leukemia. Is this like a hospice place? Yeah, yeah actually, it's a hospital place, but 
a lot of people go to the hospital and get in there, but... So, so all the people here are not dying, though? No. Okay, okay. People that have heart problems. Serious stuff. Okay, okay. It, but now, on in general, is it because I was thinking about trying to help out this place too? Now, honest opinion, in general, is it a good place? It's a good place. I wish it's a bad guy that shouldn't be drinking. Well, I'm, hey, you know, shit happens. I mean, you know. So, how was the process for reapplying for that? You know, they, is it just one and done? It has to be some type of. Yeah, because no one's perfect. Yeah, maybe I got another chance if I go back to the hospital. She might give me. So you would have to go through the process. Okay, now I got now again. I'm not saying a lot of people watch my channel. I'm just starting, but it's a decent amount, and they might can make some calls for you and do a little complaining if you go through the process and start. Do you, matter, can I see you real fast? You know, like I say, I'm killing. Oh, I don't want none of that. Killing my knees. But okay, now. Do you have any social media if anybody wants to get in contact with you, send you anything? My family, my daughter, Do you my so but you don't have like anything direct like no. a cash app, anything like that? No. What you done did with the with the Obama phone? Oh, get out yeah. your business like that or well, you done fumbled I, the phone? No, I got a, Obama. <laughs> does it still does it have internet and all that? Yeah, the only thing about that is you don't know where to charge it. One more time, what's your name again? Whitehead. Whitehead, Mr. Whitehead. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Again, y'all, we don't do a bunch of internet begging, but this is what we're going to do. If y'all like his story and y'all want to, I'm going to get a list from him. Matter of fact, let's just ask him. We'll see if we can put an Amazon list together <laughs> for Mr. Whitehead. Is there anything like, again, this reasonable that you would like off the light? Again, this ain't guaranteed. Cause all I can do is put it up, and if they hit me back, let me know. If you wanted something off Amazon, if something that you needed, what would it be? Maybe for some people to pray, help to pray, and give me some encouragement. Damn, bro, you don't. Oh, don't start talking like that, bro. You for the God damn it, <laughs> man. <laughs> This man got me finna cry out here, man. Oh. I just asked this man what he needed. This man didn't ask for money. This man didn't ask for anything. He asked for prayer. Man, I'm sorry about that, brother. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, I'm just never know how long be Oh, man. Like I say, you know how, uh... Man, it's rough when you're going through this life. I've been through this, and, uh... Man, you done touch me, bro. I'm gonna try... If you here, I'm gonna try to at least check in with you once a week, bro. You done hurt my feelings with that, bro. Like, <laughs> you really... <laughs> Man, you hurt my feelings with that, bro. Like, <laughs> but uh, again, give us your name, brother. David Whitehead. We gonna try to tap back in with Dave. Oh, we weren't trying to do all this today. We was just trying to get a quick interview. Dave got me out here snot boxing. I'm already sick. But uh, we gonna we gonna we'll figure it out. We gonna we gonna try to get Dave some help. Man, there's so many people out here that need help. And it's, we, we will, again, we're going to knock it out one at a time. See see where we at. The pain is real. We gone.